Welcome to this tutorial on how to send WhatsApp messages to new WooCommerce customers. Guys, as our world is becoming more digital, businesses are looking for new ways to connect with their customers to improve their online experience. And one way to do this is to send personalized messages directly on their phones via WhatsApp. So in this video, I'll show you an automation technique by which you can integrate WooCommerce with WhatsApp and send personalized messages like confirmation messages or welcome messages to the new customers on WhatsApp. And we are going to set up this without any coding. So let's begin. To set up this automation guys, we are using Pabli Connect which is an automation and integration tool. And this is the landing page of Pabli Connect. So I'm going to paste the same link in the description so that you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. Okay, so you can just sign up right now from the given link and after that sign in and select Pabli Connect product and you will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. From here, you have to click on this create workflow button. Here you can give a suitable name to this workflow. So let's give a name to this workflow. So I have given the name here WooCommerce to WhatsApp automation. After giving such names, click on create button and your workflow page will load up like this. And on this page, you will find these two basic building blocks of our automation. That is the trigger and the action. All right. So trigger is that event which is going to start a workflow and the action would be an automated consequence or the response of the trigger. In this use case, guys, uh, getting a new customer registered on our WooCommerce store will act as a trigger event for this workflow and the action or an automated reaction would be to send a WhatsApp message to the customer. Okay, so that can be a thank you message or a welcome message. Now here guys in the trigger it is asking to choose the application. So choose WooCommerce here. Then you have to select the trigger event as new customer created and it will give you this webhook URL. With the help of this, we are going to create a connection with a WooCommerce store and after that we are going to capture the response of that connection. Okay. So you need to follow these steps written here to create the connection. Let me show you directly how you can do this. You can read the instructions and follow them. Okay. So first of all, you need to open your WordPress dashboard. Let me open it. All right. So this is my WordPress WordPress dashboard. And here we have this WooCommerce option. From here, you have to click on this settings option. All right. And the settings page will open up. Under the settings play page, click on advanced tab on the top right corner. And under advanced tab, when you scroll down, you will find the webhooks option. Click on it. And under webhooks page, you have to click on add webhook button. Here you will find add webhook button. Click on it. All right. And here it will ask to uh, give a name to this webhook connection that you are creating. So here I am providing the name as customer test. Okay. Then you have to select the status as active. And then you have to select the topic. That means on which event you want to send the data from WooCommerce to your workflow. So here you have to select customer created. Okay, select it. Then in the delivery URL field, you have to paste the URL that you got from your workflow. So just click on copy from here and paste this URL here in this delivery URL field like this. Then select the API version as version three, which is the latest. And then click on save webhook button and your webhook connection will be created here in a few moments. All right. So you can see webhook updated successfully is written here. And here you will find a webhook ID created. That means the connection is successful. Now guys click on this recapture response button. Then click on yes and it will start showing waiting for the webhooks response again. This means now we can perform a test submission. This means now I am going to manually create a customer using a registration page that I have created using WordPress and the details of that 
test customer will be fetched here in the response section and with the help of that data we are going to set up this automation okay so here i have created this registration or login page for my customers so from here let us just uh, create a new test customer so i have filled all other details as well like the password of the customer the phone number and the country and here i am clicking on submit button and a new test user or customer will be created you can see the form is getting submitted here you can see user successfully registered is written here that means the customer is created let's check in our workflow if we got the data captured and here you can see guys we got the response here it is showing us the username as test user which we have filled here you can see the role is customer and this is the uh, regions code IN for India and here is the phone number received and here are all other details of the customer like the email address like the first name the last name all the things got captured here that's how you can capture the test data of the customer now guys when you receive a cus uh, customer registration you want to send a whatsapp message to that customer for that we are going to connect with whatsapp here in the action step and to connect with whatsapp we are using interact application which is a official business api provider of whatsapp okay so search for interact and the action event would be send whatsapp template message then click on connect button from here select add new connection and here it will ask for the secret key of interact application so you can find this key in the developer settings of interact let me show you that this is my interact applications dashboard and here on the bottom left hand side we have this settings icon and here we have settings option click on it and under the settings page you will find the developer setting on the left hand side panel click on it and here you will find the secret key like this so you just have to copy this key and you have to paste this key here in this field like this and then click on save and you will be connected with interact and after getting connected it will ask for the country code phone number and the full phone number so guys here we have received the phone number as well of our customer which we have uh, added in the form you can see this is the phone number label and I'm going to map this phone number label here in the full phone number field. Okay. And in the full phone number field, you have to fill the number in this format with a plus sign and a country code. So let us see uh, to map the number here. You just have to click here first and the previous step will appear in the drop down and the previous step will appear in the drop down like this. And when you click on it, you will find all the data right here from here. Map this value label okay and here you can see we have the country code 91 for india and uh, we do not have this plus sign so let me manually put a plus sign here okay now guys it is asking for the template code name so uh, what is a template so to send messages on whatsapp using interact first of all you need to create message templates in interact application so message templates are predefined message structures that you can use to send messages on WhatsApp. So here for this purpose, I have created this template. You can see named as customer created. And here in a template, you can send a header in which you can attach a text, image, video or any document. But right now we are not sending any of these things. So I have selected none option here in the body field. You can type the main body of your message. Like I have written, hello, thank you for registering yourself as a customer. You can uh, use your username to log in anytime. Enjoy the lifetime access in our store and explore great products. This is a kind of thank you message I have created for a new customer. And here you can see in this body, I have this one in double curly braces and two. These are called the body variables of the message. These are used to send some data inside it in a new message like the name of the person in this case and the username. So these are the things which are going to change with every new customer. Okay, so that's why you have to enter the body variables properly in every message so that you can change the data dynamically every time. 
first of all guys it is asking here the templates code name so when you open your template like this in the top search bar in the url after this template slash and this slash view you will find this code and you have to copy this code and paste it here like this okay this is the template code for the language code you will get the temp language code when you create when you are creating the uh, message template it will show you the language option here we have selected english as the language and the code of english language is en okay for normal english for us english it is en underscore us okay in the header we are not sending anything so i can leave this field blank okay here in the body variables we need to fill two things okay now guys as i have told you that we can change the value change the place or the value of body variables with every new message so to get the values change you need to put the values here in the workflow in this body variables field so the first body variable is for the name of the customer so i am going to map the name of the customer from the first step so when you scroll down you will find the first name here let me you can map the full name as well using the first name and the last name label this is the first name this is the last name let me show you this is the last name map it okay and after filling first body variables value you have to put a comma then you have to fill the other body variables value so the next body variable is the username i'm going to map it from the first step only this is the username map it that's how you can place the values separated by commas of body variables then it will ask to position your cta or call to action button so if you have any call to action button you want to send any button you can use this option otherwise you can leave these two things blank and now you can test your connection by clicking on save and send test request button and this message will be delivered to this whatsapp number so this is not an actual number i'm going to fill my number here then i'm going to click on save and send test request button and show you how the message is going to look like in real time so guys i have added my my whatsapp number here and let's click on save and send test request button so we have received a new message here you can see on whatsapp and this is the new message and it is showing hello new test user thank you for registering yourself as a customer you can use your username test user to log in any time you can see in place of the body variables the data got placed correctly here because we have mapped the values of the body variables in our workflow like this okay and the message is same as we have here in the uh, template so this is how it is going to work guys so we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up it only once after that it will work automatically whenever you get a new customer created on your store in real time a whatsapp message will be delivered to that customer automatically and guys you can use this workflow as i'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description and you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys if you want to connect with our support team you can email us at support at the rate pably.com you can ask and discuss your queries on our forum via this link and you can check the pricing plans of pably connect via pably.com slash connect hashtag pricing and guys, if you like our videos, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much.